What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Caesar. Caesar gets crypto, and we are talking about Cello today. This one comes to us at the request of Sushin Gang. I think that's how you say it. Sushin or Su Satian. I think it's Sushin. Sushin Gang. I'm calling it Sushin Gang. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, looking at this thing, we had a low here. We went up, and we had a little bit of a lower low. Didn't quite get to the 1272, and that's okay. That's that's totally fine. Um, maybe there's so much buying power down here that it, it just couldn't reach that. Um, maybe there are reasons that we just don't understand why it didn't reach that, but that's okay. Um, you did close actually right, like right around where this one opened. So I, or I guess the, the closing low was here, which was right around this low here. So that, that's cool. Um, on the weekly RSI, I don't really like the weekly RSI to be completely fair. It's kind of neutral, but you haven't shown any strength yet. You know, you had this move and you've yet to get any follow through from it. It's not totally condemning. You had your move down, you had your bear market. Now it looks like you're kind of in an accumulation zone. You are getting volume, which is nice. Let's look at it on the daily. Okay, the daily RSI looks a little bit better actually. Neutral, but but more bullish for sure. You're not spending too much time in these weaker areas. You're hugging this purple line, which you look like you found significance on it before. Yeah, a couple rejections there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. I would say that uh, hugging this line like this is kind of bullish. You would probably, I would bet that if not the next time, or if not this time breaking above it, the next time, or like soon when you break above it, um, you'll probably hold above it instead of holding below it. And like you did this time when you held above it, I, I don't think that you're going to break that break back down below it. I do think this could be your low. Um, before I say that, yeah, I think I think that could be your low. You know, maybe you go lower if you were. To go lower than that low, unfortunately, there's not really too much to go off of. If you have a week that closes below, uh, below like this here, at 48 cents, that might be telling. If you have a week that closes below there, that might be telling that you might revisit this. If you have a week that closes below here too, and then ultimately, getting a week to close at, at below 40 cents would be very condemning. But um, I don't know if you do. I don't know if you do. I think I think it might have bottomed from here. Um, I was looking at it on, I was looking at the white paper a little bit, but it's it's a payment system, right, for social payments, whatever. It's ranked 135. It has a $258 million market cap. Um, so it's it's definitely got 100x potential in it. From low to high here, you didn't hit the 618. Maybe you go a little bit lower. Maybe you do go to the 618 at 45 cents. That's possible. I know you were saying, uh, I think there may be a short-term chance to the upside. And on the daily, I would agree. On the weekly, I'm not so convinced. It's hard to say. It's really hard to say. On a daily, you know, if, if you want to have a short-term move to the upside, what you need to do first and foremost is take out this high. And by that time, you're already going to have a 10% move from the current price. So I would agree already there that you've had a nice pop to the upside. Everything else looks like it's going down. So it very well could go down to the 618 or the 69 area, which is around 45 to 43 cents. And that's, I guess, where my expectation would be that it does go down. But it could it could have a short-term move to the upside. You've had these kind of systematic pops, right? You can see it in the volume more than you can in the price. But like once, twice, three times there, Um Maybe you have another one. Maybe you have a couple more even. But but I kind of would expect that you'd come down here. You don't have to. You don't have to. I could be wrong on that. And really what would prove me wrong, I guess, would be a day to close above 58 cents. So 8 cents higher. Or, you know, I guess technically 59 cents. Um, or, you know, first, first hope would be getting a higher high. Breaking out of this kind of descending structure and this flattening. Because this almost looks like a, a descending triangle up here. Which, which it very well could be. And if it were a descending triangle, you would kind of measure it like this. You'd probably measure it like that. That would send you to new lows. And I don't know, I don't know if I'd believe that. I don't know if you're going to go to new lows. Maybe you do. It's totally possible. But, but I don't know. The first, first step, again, to look for would be if you have a daily close below 47 cents, you're probably going lower. If you have a daily close that closes above 58 cents, 59 cents, then you're probably going higher. Other than that, I don't know. The daily and the weekly are kind of conflicting to me. I like the daily. I don't like the weekly. The four hour doesn't help either. Very neutral RSI. You're just ping ponging around. So maybe you do go up because you are ping ponging around. You're in the stronger area. Maybe, maybe you go up a little bit. Although the four hour to me would imply, I think that we are going to go lower more in the immediate term. And then if that happens, the daily would start to look a little bit like it wants to roll over too. Hard to say. 
Hard to say, my friend. Um, I would say I think it goes down. I think it goes down from here a little bit. Maybe it does have a pop. Maybe it does another one of these. It's totally possible, but it would probably be a quick little pump and then dump as it has been. Um, I don't think it, it is possible that this thing pumps without the rest of the market, but I don't think you're going to get that. Um, but I could be wrong, right? Take this high out, take this high out. And I would say that things are starting to look different for sure. Then you have higher lows and higher highs, which would be, which would be good. Really though, ultimately you want to get above 68 cents. Um, but it's hard to say, really hard to say. Hard to say inherently. I would, I would just go with, I'm bearish, honestly, bearish on this thing. Um, and I don't really have too much more to say other than that. So if you like the video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to see more, and I will see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.